about that time. Oh man, oh, oh, I can't wait to watch this SEC championship. Boy, I can't wait to watch this wild card game. Oh boy, man, I am ready for this SEC championship. All right now, time to rise up, baby. Oh, I'm so ready to watch this NFC championship. This national championship, this Super Bowl, this SEC championship, this playoff series. Welcome to the Jerry Tanner Struggle Session, brought to you by the UGA Alumni Association. Um, so let's get right to it. Uh, here's my thoughts on the weekend. We might have to bleep some of that. I mean, what can you say? We'd seen all these things before, but last Saturday, every single one of those chickens came home to roost. Okay, okay, pun not intended, but you know what, I, I deserve that one. So I hope Kirby will remember a few things in the wake of this one. One, you still have a wildly talented team. You just gotta point them in the right direction. Two, if you win out, you still get to Atlanta. Three, you've got the best kicker in the country. Please remember that last one. Cookies and Cocoa with Harry Dog. Now every year, Women of UGA puts on this super fun event where you and your family can get your photo taken with Harry Dog, you can get some of those cookies and cocoa, and your kid can write a letter to Ugga. Now I swear, those are some of the most adorable things I've ever seen. Like, like this one. Dear Ugga, you are my favorite dog. I hope I will see you soon because I want to pet you and watch my team, the Georgia Bulldogs, score a bunch of touchdowns. Please come visit me and you can sleep in front of my bed. Love, Jerry, age 34. Go to alumni.uga.edu slash women and you can find a link to the event. Now sign up quick because this one fills up fast. All right, let's get back to it, I guess. Who doesn't love homecoming? All our cheerleaders and redcoats get back on the field. There's those amazing tailgates. There's events all through the week. And my dad will, for the 34th consecutive year, tell me about the time that Louis Grizzard walked by his Sigma Chi party and gave him an approving nod. But let's talk about our opponent, the Kentucky Wildcats. Nope, cut it, nope, 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 nope. They wish. Before last week, I would have said this should be a cakewalk for the dogs, and it may still be. But we are now forced to admit our weaknesses. Will our offensive line open up running lanes? Will we run into the middle of the defense? Will we run into the middle of the defense? Will we run into the middle of the de- If they clog the running lanes, if they get in Jake's face, and we don't contain Asim Rose and Cavassier Smoke, well then this one could feel real familiar real fast. I do believe though that last week was a wake up call, and we're gonna see a Georgia team that's desperate to prove that they're not the team we saw last week. We'll find ways to get our running backs into open space and take advantage of a Kentucky D that's susceptible to the run. So, 31-17 Georgia. Well, that does it for another episode of the Jerry Tanner Show where we say, as we have always said, and say it with me now, let him kick the damn ball. Y'all be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell and you'll never miss an episode.